Liquidator Show. This is a sommelier liquidity provider show. Welcome. Uh, we did this show for all the sommeliers. We have nearly 1,500 sommeliers in our Telegram and about nearly 1,000 sommeliers in our Discord. And we wanted to create a new show for you guys to get going on figuring out how to use sommelier. Why? Well, we have all these LP rewards coming up. Pools are literally giving away money to sommelier LPs. That's right. Uh, we have cell frame coming up soon next week. A snapshot this Saturday. So we cut this video today, Friday, because tomorrow we're gonna have the snapshot. And if you want a piece of that $20,000 in cell tokens, you should wanna know how to use sommelier. So this is gonna be a demo on how to make use of sommelier to trade. Maybe we even take sell for a spin. With me today is Kevin Kennis, co-founder of sommelier and essentially the god of this app. Everything you see here, he has brought to life. And I asked him to come join me and take us on a walk through the sommelier app. Kevin is amazing. Welcome, Kevin, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm happy to walk through the app, show everybody what I've built, and show people how to ape. All right, let's do it. <laughs> we are all fine apes. So, uh, so you want to share your screen and take us through? So, so the objective of this one, of this presentation, given that everybody's coming up on Saturday, is a lot of people don't know how to use the app. Sometimes they have trouble. We have people tell us, hey, how do I get started? Can you walk us through on how to get started to make our first token position trading on Uniswap with Sommelier. Yeah, definitely. So what I'll do is I'll share my screen. I will open up the app. I'll show you the things you need to know, how to make sure your wallet's connected, how to see what the opportunities are, how to make a decision about whether one opportunity is good or not. I'll walk you through some of my thought process I do when I'm doing that. And then we'll take a position. So Let's do it. it should Let's be do pretty it. fun. Yep. All right. Cool. I'm going to share my screen now. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to switch our tab over to the app. So Tariq, can you let me know that everyone watching can see the screen? I uh, love it. I see that screen, that big red that says this is not financial advice. <laughs> Correct. That's not. So, you know, one of the things that we thought about when we're building the app is, you know, I'm a DeFi user. I'm an LP. What do I want to know to make my own life easier? And, um, you know, that was kind of the genesis of the idea for the application experience yeah. and as we've gotten feedback we've learned um what is important to people and how to bring that in of course like Tarek mentioned it's important to remember that this is a tool this is not something that's giving you advice this is a tool you should use to make your own decisions about um you know what positions you want to take so so that's what this is for what i'll do first is i'll just kind of walk you through some of the key things you need to know so first things first, I can see that I have a wallet connected. So this is, you know, a MetaMask wallet that I've opened up and set up. This is what I use for, you know, chasing Ooh, returns in Uniswap. Love yeah, it. exactly. And this, these are gains, man. I started <laughs> off small, just like everyone else. And, you know, um, unfortunately, I missed the Doge pump today, but I'm not doing too bad in Uniswap. So, <laughs> you, you go, know, I you think go. that's what... Uh, that's what, you know, um, is the way to really build wealth is by LPing, you know, and if you're yeah. looking at generational opportunities, being an LP is one of them. It's like, it's going to be like, you know, having a bank account in the future. Yeah. So this is one That's of the right. first ways you can get into it and really kind of, you know, see what it's like on a day-to-day -day level. So again, just walking through the app, I can see that my wallet's connected here. It's the same address I saw on my MetaMask. I can see that right now I don't have any pending transactions. But when I do want to do something in the app, I will see that, you know, a pending transaction shows up. Yeah. First thing I can see, because I, I've done a little bit already, is I have an open position. All so right. I can see how much money I put in. I can see my fees. I can see my impermanent loss. And don't worry about what that means, because we'll explain it. I can see how much money I've made just by holding Hedgic and WEF, and those have gone up against USD. Yep, And I can see all these numbers put together to see how much money have I made. It looks like on this one, I've made about a hundred bucks off about 300 bucks. So, you know, 30% nice. is not bad. You know, if you ask your uh, traditional financial advisor to get you 30%, he'll tell you he can't do it. Well, you can do it on your own now. You don't need him. 
So <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of the the magic of DeFi, right? And we're going to show you, you how to do that. some financial advisors to the bread line. I like it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's not just me. That's uh, you know, that's something that I think you're gonna see if you're just getting into the DeFi space that there are many, many yep. opportunities, and yep. Smelly is one of them. So yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Um, All right. So Tariq, what's next for us? Yeah. I, I'm I'm just looking. I'm browsing around. I'm seeing here are the right. top liquidity pools in 24 hours in the last 24 hours and in the past okay. seven days. Okay. So okay. I'm looking around. I can see this pool is returned seven percent in the last seven yeah, days. Yeah. That means if I yeah. held it for a year, I'd make about three hundred percent. Yeah. Um, what about those 24 hour pools? Yeah. I'm seeing those 24 yeah. hour pools at the top. Those are those are turning me on. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Why is that 295? That looks. That what's all that about there? Yeah, definitely. That's pretty good, right? So. Just in this last 24 hours, it's returned almost 1%, but that's 24, yeah. 295%. So remember, we're talking about gains here. So 295% okay. means you're going to 4x your money. Okay. So, you know. Is that over a day or a week? How, how long do I this, uh, 4x my money? This is over a year. So APY okay. is annual percentage yield. You just got to okay. think of the annual. When you, when you see APY, you think yearly um, returns, basically. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Again, these are just from fees. So there are okay. other ways you can make money by being an LP. If you think both yeah. of your tokens are going to go up against yeah. your base currency, whether mm -hmm. you know you're accounting your crypto gains in ETH or you're yeah. accounting them in US dollars or Bitcoin, yeah. whatever. Yeah. If you think both of these coins are going to do better than your base currency, yeah. you're going to be making money on top of these APY. So this got is it. just got the it, start. But, you know, again, one thing to note is these are subject to change. They can change on a daily basis. A lot Wait, of coins, so let's talk about you know, that. How yeah. often do they change? You said change daily. Is that every 24 hours or if that changes every two days? Like how often will these numbers change? Well, well, these are running total. So we, Sommelier keeps them updated every 24 hours. You can see what's done great. But okay. every new trade uh, contributes to APY. So the thing okay. to know about APY is it's driven by volume so every okay. new trade that happens yep. in a pool contributes to yep. your apy so Got Got you it. want to get in pools that have a lot of volume have a lot of trading okay. uh, for it. whatever Got reason it. you know token mm -hmm. launches mm -hmm. or different events you know that cause one token to um, raise in value and those could be many many different things so right right yep well one of the things I was looking at is I saw that there are a bunch of stuff on the left side. So before we look at your liquidity pools, um, it looks like controls. What are what are these controls for? I see search pairs and LP opportunities. Which is which? Yeah. So these are tools you can use in addition to kind of what we are surfacing here to get a better overview of the market from an LP's perspective. So ah, okay. For instance, I can go to the market overview page. Ooh, what's up in there? I can see highest and permanent loss pairs on Uniswap. Yep. So I can see right now that, man, these look like good pairs, like Sushi. That's a great coin. Yeah, but yeah. Still, Ooh. a lot of money have been lost in the pool just due yeah, to yeah. impermanent loss yeah. Yeah, or price yeah. fluctuation. Um, yeah, so I see Keeper there is also like a 12 for negative 12% on Keeper. That's yeah. That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And it's seen a lot of volume. Yeah. At the same time, Keeper and Weth have not been that correlated. So mm, usually, okay. impermanent loss is because two pairs are not correlated to each other. So, for instance, ah, on okay. a pair with lots of stable with two stable coins, impermanent loss is going to be very small or zero. Yeah. But yep. if one coin in a pair outperforms another that's when you're going to see in permanent loss so as an lp you think oh it's great well i hold keeper and keepers going up isn't that good yeah. for me yeah. it is yeah. good for you but in fact the way lping works is if everyone is buying keeper you are providing liquidity for those trades so you're going to end up with less keeper and more and wealth. more wealth. whoa yeah got it got yeah, it got exactly it, got it. I, I don't mind keeping my keeper I like to keep my keeper. <laughs> exactly. So you want to keep your keeper, right? So, right. so these are the types yeah. of solutions Sommelier is working on. You don't okay. want to suffer these impermanent losses. Um, right. But for now, we're, we're showing you. What are they? What does it mean? 
And yep. Um, yep. it's always a game, right, to try to collect the most fees with the lowest yep. amount of impermanent loss. So yep. we yep. try to give you all the information you need to do that. Got it. Got it. All right. So tell me about the search pairs. What can I do with search pairs? I'm seeing that at the top. You can search for whatever you want. So, you know, okay. let's say that I just heard of a new coin and I think it's, you know, got a lot of opportunity and Doge. You know, I think it's I heard Doge is hot. I heard Doge, Doge is hot. Is hot. <laughs> Doge is hot. Remember, let's this, do Doge. This is not a recommendation for Doge. We do not endorse Doge in any form. But let's check it <laughs> much, out. Much IL. So, much wow. So wow. So wow. so I can see oh, there wow. are a few okay. pairs. There's, you There's know, a, a W Doge, yeah. a Ren. Yeah, yeah. Ren no, obviously okay. does okay. a lot of wrapping cross chain. So okay. let's look at one. When I okay. click on this, I'm actually going to be taken to the last tab we have to show, which is the IL calculator. Okay. So wow, look at this. Okay, what is a this? A few Ooh. things here. Okay. Wow, you can see that you've collected a lot of money <laughs> in the past couple of days. So <laughs> there, there are a few things to think about. This graph basically shows you if you had invested ten thousand dollars of liquidity on the first day that the Doge pair was created, how yeah. much money would you be making? So there are a few components. You want to look at the fees collected and the notional gain. So okay. fees collected are your trading volumes. Yep. Um, your, your notional gain is the amount that these pairs have gone up against USD. So for Correct. us, everything is based in USD. In yep. the future, we're, we're going to be looking at adding, you know, if you want to compare everything in ETH, we yeah. want to give you the opportunity to do that as well. Because if you're a crypto native, who cares about USD? So... Yep. These are things we're working on supporting. Um, other things to think about is, again, your total return is just mm -hmm. the net of those two um, values. And then the other things you can look at are volume and liquidity. So again, the more volume, the better because you're collecting fees. Mm -hmm. and, but the mm -hmm. more liquidity in a pair, the more LPs those fees will be spread around. Yes. So, Fees with high volume and low liquidity are great for LPs from a returns perspective. Okay, slow, but slow. They also Let's say it again. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. We got to jump in this. So you said something big yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so yeah. from an LP perspective, let's repeat that again. What's good for an LP? Fees with or pools with high volumes and low liquidity yes. are great because you can right. gain a lot of proportional share of all the fees yes. collected. Right. By adding less liquidity. But okay. and there's a but. Yep. The risk is that lower liquidity yes. means that the price can be more volatile. Right. So that means the price goes up and down very, yeah. very in big swings, right? Exactly. So okay. the Got price it. can swing. So again, it's the trade off between, you know, possible and permanent loss because of the price yes. swing. Versus yes. the ability to collect fees. So big fees. It's hard fees. for someone right. to, to keep that all in their head. That's what right. we're doing. Right, right. We're helping you right. visualize it. Yeah. Okay. So what Somalia yeah. is doing, you're saying, is helping me visualize as LP ape that I am, which pools that will have high volume and low liquidity where I could make a lot of fees, but also be aware that the price might go up and down in really, really big swings in short periods yes. of time, yeah? All right, Correct. awesome, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So here's the question I have. Do I ape into Doge or do I do I stay home with my money in my pocket? What do I do here? What, what do I gotta do? Well, here's how I would think about Doge, right? Doge has done great in the past couple of days. Right, it's right, amazing. Right, right. So, you right. know, I would love to take a Doge position because it's gonna go up. Yeah. But now, as an LP, let me compare Doge and WEF. Okay, you know, let's do it. As Doge okay. is going up, I want to ride Doge, um, right. which is great. But if at any point Doge is, again, evening out in comparison, I this allows me to say, take a position in Doge mm -hmm. and then progressively sell my Doge into WEF as the price goes up. So now I'm right. using impermanent loss to my advantage okay. i'm going to be providing liquidity for the doge pair people yep. are going to be buying my doge and yes. giving me weth at a good yes. price so yes. yes if i'm 
you know, short term bullish on Doge, but long term yes. bullish on Web. Yes. This might be a great um, opportunity for me to okay. make fees on the yes. ride. And so wait, you're not an ETH maxi? Are you not an ETH maxi? What? What? I, what? I'm a profit maxi. <laughs> that was not the answer. <laughs> okay, fine. You're profit maxi. <laughs> All right. So, you know, so, so you wouldn't trade this pool right now. You wouldn't add liquidity to this pool as a profit maxi. Is that what you're saying? I would add liquidity to this pool as a profit maxi. Let's do it. Let's add some liquidity. I think I can, I think I can get fees and get back to ETH. So yeah. seriously, I'm okay. I'm a profit maxi, but I'm not. I'm long term, right? So I'm okay, thinking okay. Doge is a pump, F yep. is sound money. So yeah, yeah. do I want to, you know, be invested I mean, in the future of finance or, you know, the coin of Mars? I think right now the future of finance is gonna be better. Listen, so Shiba's forever, dude. Shiba's forever. Shiba's yeah. gonna rule. Listen, tick tock, tick tock, Shiba, 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 tick tock. Okay, Isn't listen, I want it listen, we're gonna share this video with the TikTok family. Let's go add some liquidity. Like, hit me with the. Like, let's do the. What, what do we do here? Like, I want to add some liquidity. I'm gonna put this on TikTok. So, We're going Shiba. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manage my liquidity. I want to add. All right. Right. All right. Yeah. So what do I have? I see that I have some F. I yeah. see that yeah. I have some WEF. Yeah. And uh, I want to add as much F as I can. Max it out. This pool. What? Got it. So you don't want to do WEF? You don't want to do WEF. I do not want to do WEF at this point. I have other plans mm -hmm. for my WEF. Okay. Why do you not want to do WEF at this point? I don't want to do WEF at this point because there are some other ways I can get returns on WEF. Um, hmm. I, so want WEF is not I want to provide liquidity to other pools. And there uh -huh. is a cost to investing WEF versus investing F that we at Sommelier make it easy, but other sites don't, right? So in other okay. sites, it's better to bring WEF to play. Ah, uh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. So, but you're going to go max ETH. All right, all right. Profit I'm maxi, going max ETH. ETH. Sommelier Let's makes do it. that Let's easy. Do it. Other Let's sites go. Let's go. don't. So. Push the button. Let's so push again. the button. Let's push the button. It says button. insufficient I'm, funds. Okay, we, oh, we got a problem here. Uh, yeah. Yep. Problem, Captain. So, <laughs> looks like we have a, a rounding error here, but that's easy enough to figure out. Okay. Um, okay. Let me. Do just we have enough gas? Gas this. looks high. What this guy? This gas looks gas pretty looks high. Gas looks high, and MetaMask yeah. will tell us. One okay. thing I always do because I'm in, yeah. you know, I'm impatient, is I always use fast gas. I don't Woo! recommend that for everybody. Not and, for everybody, uh, but listen. <laughs> and, there are different times to think about. 200 gui is a lot of gas, dude. What are we talking about here? I mean, what does that look like? So so right now it's a busy time on the ETH chain. We'll see how much this yeah. costs, but okay. this might not always cost as much in gas. All um, right. Let's mash the green. Let's mash the green. Let's mash it. Go. Mash the green. <laughs> not financial so advice. <laughs> Don't do not this at home. <laughs> right? So Ooh, look. Whammy. It's going to cost me funds. 0.2 Five hundred dollars just to pay the gas, dude. So this, this is an expensive party. <laughs> it is. Unfortunately, there's a lot of you know. That's let's, that's let's easy go weth. Let's take it with the weth. Let's use the weth. We got twenty weth. Let's We're go. We're all taking it with the weth. What I want to do <laughs> is I want to make sure that I actually have those weth funds. <laughs> let's make sure we got the money. All right. Exactly. All right. So, Ooh. how do I know? How will I know if I have those weth funds? Oh my god! I need to Where add is it? The Okay. And I, I thought you had, oh, you, you have the token, right? Yeah, so it's you got added some right Kono here. in there too. All right, this is all telling right. me I this is telling me I have zero 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 point two with. So Whoa, I think we might strange. be seeing, you know, a bug in our balance calculations. Uh -oh. Which we got a in fact I had a sense was the case, and that's why I was trying to give you a reason to not add the left. <laughs> <Not use web. laughs> like, we're like Andre, like, we debug in prod. <laughs> we're debugging in prod. <laughs> This is mainnet, and I knew I didn't have twenty less in my mainnet <laughs> oh my wallet. So, All right, so you know. let's use half half of ETH then, zero point five ETH. Yeah, yeah, we'll use All half right. in it. That's good. Okay, yeah. All right. So we're, we're debugging again, in prod, debugging prod. Al All right. Alpha software.
not financial advice. <laughs> advice. We appreciate your feedback. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Join the community. <laughs> All right. So, mash. This, mash. This is still not too bad. I'm going to save some mash, dry powder it. for something else if I see an opportunity. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, All right. Again, you can see That's, that now I yeah, don't have insufficient funds. My gas limit yep. has gone down. Yeah. Yep, yep. This the is a more is realistic amount to pay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Let's go. And, and man, I'm I'm still gonna have a good position, you know, yeah, about yeah, um, yeah. fourteen dollars. So I'm just gonna confirm. Yep. And this is, you know, MetaMask. I can see that it's submitted. I yep. can see that All my right. TX that. is confirming on chain. Let All me right. go back to the LP opportunity screen too. Yep. Yeah. I can see, see that I have a pending transaction, and I can check oh, that out nice. on MetaScan. Awesome. You know, this is, Let's do it. This is real stuff. It's hitting the blockchain. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Less than know, two minutes. Have, this is fast. Yeah, we have two minutes. Okay, so um, what are you doing for the weekend? As soon as you got two minutes, let's shoot the shit. What's happening this weekend, bro? How are we doing? You know, I'm uh, on on Samel on Saturdays. I love to use sommelier. That's a big day for <laughs> sommelier. Yeah, that's a big so day. I'm yeah. gonna stop building the app and I'm gonna start using the app. Uh, so sommelier Saturdays, that's my thing. I'm that's gonna right. open we also have up, a snapshot. You know, we have a snapshot for sale, so don't forget that yeah, snapshot for sale. Exactly. Tomorrow. So yeah. I'm going to get into sell. I'm going to do my due diligence. You know, yeah, I do yeah. proper due diligence. So yeah, you know, yeah. I it'll take me at least you know two or three minutes Whoa. to really read that, you know everything. I, I just think go, your you know, transaction just confirmed. Your transaction yeah, just confirmed. Yeah, yeah, you green. yeah. Let's check out Etherscan. Oh, I saw the green. Yeah, uh -huh. there you go. There you go. Looks like I've added it. Yeah, in in it to win it, in it to win it. I've swapped and I've added all in one step. You can't do this on Uniswap, right? But you can on Sommelier. No. So there you go. Let there me, you, go. you know, see if my position is here. I'll just refresh the page. Right, right. And refresh, refresh. I should be able to see that I have a balance here. If the graph updated, <laughs> you know, the graph takes some time. Yeah. So again, it, it might take some minute, and this can take up to five yeah. minutes. So. Okay. Well, again, we're, right, we're cool. using the graph, who is one of our partners. They're great. They're yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but Uniswap is a heavy, heavy load of data that they have to sync. So, you know, and we, we say Uniswap. wait up to five minutes. Yeah, they're amazing. Oh, my God. We wouldn't exist without them. Um, so <laughs> I think, you know, there. Are, it's also glad this whole impermanent loss thing, you know, they're giving us an opportunity. That's right. Uniswap um, P3 is so, coming up. It's going to be hot. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's you know that's where we're at now. It will take a few minutes, and uh, yep. once we're able to detect that new position, we yep. are going to be calculating these same fees. How much money are you making? Yep. So yep. you know it would make sense to maybe come back tomorrow and see how I've done on this pair. All um, right, I think, I think that's awesome. Uh, we may yeah. come back on Monday. So um, yep. what we'll do is we'll we'll see if we can have another shot um, at this where we look at the pair position, um, and I think. This is this is a good first step. We we took a position on an exciting coin, Doge Weth. Uh, we saw that we you know didn't have some enough cash, but we also found a nice cool bug that we're gonna fix. And um, I'm super pumped to see. Well, you wanna hit refresh one more time before we, we wrap up? See if it's uh, yeah. Let's do it. If anything, let's see if anything's come up. Maybe not, but we gotta just try. I'm waiting with bated breath. Unfortunately, uh, not. Not yet. Not yet. What? All right. You know. I, you know, these things, you know, it's, it's not, it's time in the market. Same thing for yes, right. liquidity providing, you know, what's, um, what's waiting five minutes when you're building generational wealth with Doge. So that's, that's, that's right. the question I'd answer. <laughs> <laughs> generational wealth with Doge. Five minutes is not that long. Much. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, much we'll wow. wrap it up here. <laughs> we'll wrap it up here. Kevin, uh, thank you very much for an amazing presentation. It was fast, it was enjoyable, it was fun. Uh, this is, again, for everybody coming in on Saturday uh, so that you can get your position ready for sale. We have other LP rewards coming up with Sommelier, and we have new features coming up with Sommelier. Kevin is the leader on a great app development team. We will see you again. Thank you so much, Kevin, and thanks, everyone. This is Sommelier. Right. Cheers. Bye.